Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a quick tour of two of the three polytunnels. Only two because the third one is still under, it's under, under work, should we say, work in progress. So that'll be for next spring. But anyway, we'll go and have a look at two of them. They're all planted up. Let's go and see what's, what's what. So here we go in here and straight in the door here. I've got one of the temporary benches down with the microgreens on there. And these are the peas. And you can see they're all coming along nicely, as is the coriander over here. You can see they're all sprouting away nicely. Then I've got some lettuces, and I think most of these are four seasons. And then some two different types of mizuno, the same as I've got outside. There's a red streaks there, and that's no, just a red actually, and a green one. Now the benefit of having backup plants, which I always have, is these two at the back have just been replaced because the others were eaten like this one's been eaten by something or other probably a slug or a snail and it looks like one or two of the others of these red ones have had been had a little nibble on but that's why you have spare plants you let let the pest eat them then they don't go right through your crop and decimate it let them eat it till it's almost just stalks and then swap them out give them something else to eat <laughs> Over this side, there's an overfilled charred bed here. If I keep it small, it'll be all right. There's about nine plants just in that little area there. If I keep it small, it'll be fine. If I let it grow bigger later in the winter, I'll hoof some out. Some might die anyway. Then we've got some pak choy here. And you can see just at the back there, one has been eaten. I have no replacements for that, but I'll find a plant for it to go in the place. Some more pak choy some tatsoi and these are three charred plants that I transplanted these are the big leafy greens we'll eat all of this stem leaf the lot and on this little hanging shelf we've got some spare plants there's some fennel this is going to be planted in the next few days some more mizuna, more mizuna there salads a little bit of chard and some more mizuna and a trowel. I'm not planting them, but there we go. So that's the little tunnel. That's all roughly planted up. And in a couple of weeks time, those microgreens at the end will go home. The bench will be lifted up and I'll plant that soil underneath it with basically whatever I've got. I'll just fill the soil up and I'll keep doing this for the next, well, all the way through winter really. Just keep a plant, keep all the spaces planted. If something dies or if I take something out, take it home to eat replace it with something. But the main work that I've been doing in the tunnels the last couple of days, since the last video, has been in the big tunnel. We'll go and have a look in there now. So we'll go into the big tunnel, ignore the obvious thing on the right, and we'll go down the left-hand side first. So down on the left-hand side, we've got Tatsoi, Pak Choi, more pak choy and more pak choy all the way up that side. So they're all Asian greens. There's a few lettuces down here, a mix of red Grenoble, Rouge Diva, uh, Marvel of Four Seasons and Winter Density. Then we've got two beds of Chantenay carrots in here. And these are just about ready, but we're still eating the carrots that are outside. So they can stay and we'll harvest them as we need them through the winter. We've got some cabbages in here. I forget which variety it is, but they go all the way to the back. There's about eight of them there, and some cauliflowers in the corner. And there's a few parsnips there. Shooting over to the other side, we've got the microgreens. You've seen them the other day. And then we've got this big bed of kale here. And I've just supported this up just so that I can see what space I've got left. I've got room here to, for planting and room down here at the end. Now at the back over there, there are a few kales. There's one that's doing very well, the rest are a bit ropey. And to be honest, I think I'll just put some of the other greens in that you saw in the other tunnel in that area, replace them. So there we go with that. Onto this box. This was, as many of you will know, my Chinese cabbage. My nemesis, I try and grow this every year. And it's not looking brilliant in there, if I'm being honest. The ones at the front appear to be doing okay. 
the rest not so but I need to get in there clean up tidy up and see what I've got I put the cover on last night because yesterday sorry because I knew last night we were having a frost and there's areas to plant around this box and probably in the box when I've cleaned it out so now we'll move on to the obvious thing and the obvious thing is the grapevine it's had a serious prune I've taken off all the um, I've just left the, the rods on and taken it all off now the observance will be aware that there was three layers so there was one there's two and there was a third layer over there you can just see where I've cut them off here and here and I wasn't going to cut them off until around Christmas time when the plants had sort of officially gone into hibernation for the winter but as I was pruning it I mistakenly pruned the wire that's holding up the stem and it all came crashing down anyway so um, I thought well it might as well and I just cut it all out now what I wanted to do was because the roots are planted inside for this plant and it's been in for about five and a half years now and the plant was probably a year old when I got it I planted it inside trying to be clever and the root run is now all the way along this bed and all the way along underneath this kale which is why I think that kale hasn't done so well because the roots of this vine are taking all the nutrients out of the bed that's fine what I'm going to do is cover this whole bed ready for next year and I'm going to build a bench on there on this area starting at the height of the timber you can see there and coming all the way out here so a good bench the full length of the tunnel and this will be for perennial plants cuttings any seedlings that sort of thing and at the far end when I've cleared all this the rest of this junk out in spring moved all this compost out of the way I'm going to make a potting area here uh, so I can fully utilize this space because this back area doesn't really grow much very well at all now in an earlier video I did show why I wanted to take this lower vine out because it's here's the support for it here and the support was out here and that would have meant that I was walking right into the vine and I couldn't use this area underneath as it is now I can now use a bench under this area and walk up and down here and get to it easier and I've still got the rest of this growing space over here to use anyway so that benefits that benefits me greatly being able to walk up and down here and just one more point about this grapevine here's the supports that I bought they're aluminium and they're supposed to hold the wire going through there to keep the vine away from the plastic of the tunnel but you can see they're very flimsy very easily bent and that's why the vine itself is sagging because the supports have been pulled out and although that's tight there it's sagging in the middle so I'm going to build a new support system at either end of the tunnel that will hold it all tight and will support the weight when it's under a full crop of grapes and there will be just the two vines and in spring I will lift the covers that will be over that soil there and then rake in some blood fish and bone and then cover it again and I'll have the bench for the season and along this hanging shelf which is just a scaffold board supported by a couple of bits of rope and it it keeps it out of the way of things like slugs and uh, slug snails and rodents which are a pest especially for these things these are my sweet peas here uh, I've got some flowers here these are breezer some herbs some rosemary and some fig plants some rocky that's actually going mouldy in there so I'm not sure what to do maybe start another one some spring onions some more lettuce and coriander some corn flowers some ami some sweet rocket some dying seedlings and a whole tray there of different types of herbs 
So that's just about it in here. There are a few other things to do. There's another morning's work in here, I reckon, and then we're set for the winter and I can get on with something else. But for this video, that's it. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-ra now.